and lower the no lower the camera straight down to the eye level. Tilt the camera backwards. Yes, like that. It's definitely curious. Welcome back to the OC Homestead. I'm Donald and this is my wife. Leah. And uh, we're just uh, out here on the homestead uh, surveying some damage after the rain. Well, it's not really damage, but uh, we've had a lot of rain over the past couple of weeks and uh, it's showing us spots that, well, we can do some improvement at. Right, right Leah? Well, we just had some, another rain dump on us this morning. So we're gonna go check the rain gauge and see how much rain we got. So come join us. Well, uh, over an inch and there's just a couple of an hour. Or Look, one there's, inch. there's another baby frog. Oh, there goes a lizard. All this, this rain is drawing everybody out. Okay, there's one inch. I doubt it's even a half. No, it's not a half. Probably about almost three quarters. No, uh, almost. Or one point, you know. Two point, uh, point two, so one point two six. One point two six inches of rain. So uh, anyhow, uh, well, we just checked on the pigs. They're okay. We're checking on our layers right now. Uh, they seem to be doing okay. You bored them. You gonna say hi to the camera? <laughs> oh, look at that! Wow. <laughs> She's pecking at the camera. There's her little feeder. Keeps it off the ground. Hi there. So now we're gonna go check on our meat birds, right? So our meat birds we put down, what is that? That's a little claws, but it's only right there. Cool. Well, if anyone can identify that, I would like to know what that is. Maybe it's a squirrel bearing the nut. Probably so. Anyhow. So, we're heading out to go check on our meat birds. Our meat birds are growing very good. Right now, they're currently about three pounds. Uh, we did a, we take an average weight of a couple of them, and uh, they're about three pounds right now. So, let's go check on them. These are Cornish cross meat birds. They're a very sedentary bird. That's why you see them laying around a lot. So, I don't know if you read about it or seen it yet, but uh, there was a poultry producer, or egg producer, that uh, mysteriously burned down uh, a couple days ago, about four or five days ago. Massive flames burned down a barn with tens of thousands of chickens inside in Wright County overnight. The fire happened at Forsman Farms in Howard Lake, causing major damage. You see the smoke still smoldering there. As Kirsten Mitchell shows us, neighbors watched it burn well into the night. It was just unbelievable how quick it grew. It was insane. The Trebesh family thought they'd spend their Saturday night around their bonfire. We stood up and turned around and was like, Whoa. But just after 10, they noticed massive flames across the field at Forsman Farms. It was the whole sky. It was quite large. They called 911. And mostly volunteer firefighters from across the county showed up. At one point, they were all 200 feet high, double the height of the building. And every gust of wind, you could just see the flame building. It was pretty incredible. A barn housing tens of thousands of chickens was leveled in what a farm spokesperson calls a tragic accident. Yeah. So if you didn't already know uh, about inflation, eggs, according to the USDA, 
eggs and poultry products have gone up 110%. And also uh, are projected to go up another 75%. That's why we're raising chickens. So that's going to help us with this inflation that's going out of control. Well, we just put a water barrel yeah, right there into the new pig pen. So uh, we could uh, move Miss Piggy over there very soon. Right? Yep. So uh, anyhow, uh, we are going to go ahead and close up this video. Uh, if you would, please like this video. Give it a big thumbs up. Uh, uh, subscribe and what? Hit the notification bell. Ring that notification bell so uh, uh, you get notified whenever we upload a new video. Anyhow, uh, uh, thank you for watching and uh, tune back in next week when we uh, give you another update about what's going here on here at the homestead. Thanks. Uh -huh.